Hi guys. I just thought I'd pop in and say that yesterday was my daughter's birthday. She turned 31 and um, we had a birthday party here with uh, some family members and I cooked baby back ribs in the Instant Pot. We made uh, the baked macaroni and cheese that my mother raised us on and we had some carrots and I made biscuits. And in the process, I took a few uh, photos or snippets of video just showing you the process of making the ribs and the macaroni and cheese. And um, I thought that I would try to piece all those together today and try to make a video out of it and end it with a little picture of um, some birthday cake, which was delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that now. And uh, we'll see how well that works. Talk to you later. We use wagon wheel pasta for our baked macaroni and cheese. We're going to boil up this whole box. They're so tiny, but they're so cute. It's what I grew up with. We're also going to use some whole peeled tomatoes. One of these larger 28 ounce cans is going to be more than enough. And I use Cracker Barrel cheese only. I have three of them here. Like I said, it'll be in a 9 by 13 pan. And I'm going to grate these up by hand. I've got a variety. We have Vermont Extra Sharp and a Sharp White. Doesn't matter what kind of cheese you use, I guess. But I stick with what we always used growing up. And these three will be enough for... A little too much for the whole dish. Also for the baby back ribs I found this barbecue pulled pork seasoning mix and I'm going to use that as the dry rub for our ribs before they're put in the instant pot. This is two packs of ribs that I, I rinsed and I peeled the uh, the, what do they call it, the silver skin off the back. I cut them in half so they'll fit the Instant Pot. And then I put this seasoning mix on top of both sides of everything. Now they're just gonna sit in the refrigerator until this afternoon. Here's the macaroni and cheese ready to go in the oven. Probably about an hour on 350 and the carrots just got started. This is the macaroni and cheese after 45 minutes. It's uh, perfectly ready to go. I'm just going to cover it up until dinner's ready. All right, the ribs are done. We're going to check them out. Ooh-wee! Steamy. Now they're not going to be the prettiest looking things because, you know, they're not ready. But they are falling apart, which is nice. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, so I'll All be right. right. I've slathered both sides with our choice of barbecue sauce, which is Sweet Baby Ray's original. Now it's time to put them in a 450 degree oven for 10 minutes. All right, the biscuits came out of the oven. I got two regular uh, pans and I had some extra dough. Instead of throwing it away, I just made a few more. And we're just going to coat them with butter and get them on the table because the biscuits are in the oven. So we're in the home stretch with this birthday dinner day. Her grandma's here and her dad is here. I don't know how they feel about being on camera. So I'm not going to press my luck. All right, I'll show you what the... Uh, ribs look like when they come out. All right, here are the ribs right out of the oven. <laughs> and we are ready to eat. See you later. That's Chrissy's thumbs up. Bye-bye. We have the ribs and the carrots, the macaroni and cheese, and somebody put the biscuits on their dinner plate instead of in the middle of the table. Chrissy. Dinner time. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear Christina Chrissy. 
Happy birthday to you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hurry before 13. that one goes out. Eight, well, all right, there you have it. Uh, that was Chrissy's uh, birthday dinner. It was freaking delicious. And today's Saturday. Uh, she's back in work, but she's off tomorrow. So we decided to save the leftovers to have for tomorrow. And I really look forward to that because um, that was some really good food. We only ate half the ribs. So we've got plenty left for the two of us. Yay! As soon as uh, the party was over and everybody left, Chrissy... Uh, took me out shopping to spend uh, the gift cards that she got. Not all of them, but some of them. So uh, all in all, Chrissy had a really nice birthday, a great day off, a wonderful dinner, and she really enjoyed her birthday gifts. Um, so she's definitely a very blessed little girl who's not little anymore. She's my baby at the age of 31, always will be. So um, I'm going to get busy on editing this and... Until I see you again, have a blessed time.